guys, my name is Kiki and welcome to my channel. I've been a crafter for almost 30 years, yeah that long, <laughs> but if you want to learn how to decorate your home on a budget while having fun at it, hit the like, subscribe and stay tuned. DIY number one and we're gonna make a beautifully delicious but fake slice of cake and we're gonna use a sponge and this and this one is a cellulose sponge I'm gonna open it take off that plastic and then when I remove that plastic we're gonna cut it in half let me just cut it over here so we can make cake slices and as you can see you can measure using your ruler but I decided not to because I want to make two cake slices from this piece you will see that I played around a little bit with my ruler but then I decided to use my pencil just like this just mark it down then I'm just going to cut those sides like this then I'm just going to cut it in half and I'm just going to cut it like this then I'm just going to shape it using my scissors and as you can see I'm just going around and making it a triangle like a cheese slice or maybe a cake slice <laughs> and I'm just going to go all around it like that then I'm going to repeat that with the other one and then I'm going to take this slice and I'm just going to mark the middle like this using my ruler and my pencil and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to make a channel in between those two pieces like this so I can put my spackling over there let me just finish with this and I'm going to repeat that to the other side and also to the other cake slice now I'm going to take this beautiful tan paint and this light yellow and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting it and for that I'm going to use first my light yellow and I'm going to go all around it like this and after I finish with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that beautiful tan and I'm just going to go out on the borders and make it like a little bit more, more toasty. Yes, like if we made a cake and it is toasted by the oven, just like that. You will see after I finish with this that it gives it a little bit more of a real cake feel let me just finish with that and then i'm gonna take this chestnut paint and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make the toasty sides <laughs> and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paint only the borders let me just open my paint and i'm gonna paint as you can see the borders like this and i'm gonna go all around it except for the middle of the cake because when you bake a cake you have on the top and the bottom and the back then i'm gonna take my spackling and i'm gonna use my finger and i'm just gonna apply some of this spackling in between of those where we made the channel you see <laughs> in between those two slices like that and it's looking so much like a cake look at that i repeat that on both sides then you can use one of those spatulas but i ended up using a popsicle stick because those two are so small and you can use some of this yellow light paint to paint your spackling i added a little bit of that then i'm just gonna proceed to apply my frosting and i use the same popsicle stick you can use a spatula but they were so small that i think the spatula was a little bit too big so i kept adding my frosting with my popsicle stick on the top and the back of my cake slice and i did that for both of my cake slices now you can see them they are dried and they are looking beautiful now I'm taking my small star tip from Wilton and a little bit of spackling so I can make a couple of those beautiful star thingies frosting <laughs> on the back like that and I'm going to remove those two and make two more because those weren't looking cute. Now I'm going to make a dollop in the middle and I'm going to take this beautiful greenery from Walmart, add a little bit and that's it. And here you can see them together and let me tell you, this ones look good enough to eat. I just love them. I'm so biased. They are so, so real looking. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And this is part of the Minis Challenge, hosted by my beautiful friend Corey from Crafted by Corey. And in the description box down below, you're going to find the link to the playlist so you can go and check out what everyone else created. As well, you're going to find the link to Corey's channel so you can go and check her out. I know you're going to love her. She's so talented. And I know you're going to love everything you will find on that playlist. DIY number two and for this one we're gonna take a wood round this one is an eight inch 
wood round and I'm going to use my ruler and I'm just going to measure it in half. Well, we're going to find the middle <laughs> and we're just going to score it with our box cutter like that. Then I'm going to take my time just cutting it like this until I have cut it in half. You can use anything to cut this, but a box cutter works. Then I just split them apart like that and we have two halves of that round. And what we're going to make is a little or well, a beautiful, <laughs> it's not so little, lemon slice, but this one is perfect for your tear tray. Let me just paint it with this mace chalk paint, let them dry like that. And then when they are dry, we are going to grab some white paint and we're going to start painting it really beautifully because we're going to make the wedgie thingies that it has on the side. As you can see, I first made a line like this all around it. Let me just do it like that. And I'm going to go all around my lemon slice like this. Then I'm going to take the same paintbrush and more of that paint. And we're going to start making the wedgie thingies. Let me just show you. It is like a teardrop shape, just like this. And I'm just going to make them like that. I'm going to make one in the middle, two on both sides, and half of one in the corner. Let me just show you another one so you can see it. And I'm just going to proceed and make all the other ones. Let me just finish with this one. Make the corner one so you can see the half one. And then I'm just going to bring them together just by using my paintbrush like this. Then I'm going to paint that space in between them. And as you can see, we have finished. Now I just grab my mace paint and I'm just touching up the places that I messed up a little bit <laughs> because it is paint and that's the beauty of paint. You can touch up and no one would ever know. Let me just finish with this. And now we're going to take the light yellow that we used before and we're going to make like some lighting on the corners. It is a light effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the corners like this of this yellow and I'm going to add that light green, light green, <laughs> light yellow. <laughs> no, we're not making a lime. It's a lemon. <laughs> and I did that for all of them. Then I'm going to take some more of that mace and I'm going to make this line a little bit thicker. Then I'm going to take some white and a small paintbrush and I'm going to make the seeds and I made small seeds because I think they will look cuter. I'm going to repeat that with the other lemon slice and that's it. And here you can see them together and these ones are so cute. I just love them because I can put them on my tear tray or maybe on a shelf. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. DIY number three. And for this one, we're going to take this beautiful jar sign that I got from Tibu. And what I'm going to use is the back part. So I'm going to remove this from the plastic like this. Then I'm going to remove that twine just like that because we're saving this twine for a little bit later. So remove that twine, save it, and then we're going to grab that jar and our white chalk paint. And we're going to paint that jar completely. Just go ahead and give it a good coat. Let it dry. Then we're going to take this silicone that I got from Amazon and we're going to put a little bit of that silicone in some of those food coloring. Let me just open it like this. You're going to cut the tip on an angle like that, 45 degree angle. Then we're going to just pour some of that on our glass like that. Then we're going to take our food coloring and we're going to take out the yellow one. And we're going to add two drops of this on that glass. Let me add those two drops. Then I'm just going to mix it using a popsicle stick like that. And then when it is mixed, we're going to grab our jar and we're going to start applying it like this. Going side to side, take your time, apply it evenly and add more if you need. I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to leave a space in the middle to add a label because we're making a jar of marmalade. I think that's the name for that or jam. <laughs> and I'm going to do that to the bottom and as well, I'm going to do it to the top. But you will see that I'm not taking the lid of the jar when I put that jelly on there. Let me just do it like this so you can see it. And then I added another coat because it was a little bit too light for my taste, but you can stop here if you want. 
Then we're going to let this dry really, really, really well at least four hours. So we can move on to adding the label. Let me just finish with this, playing around with my silicone. <laughs> and then we are ready to make a label for this one. And first I added some of this vinyl from my Cricut and I'm just going to put it over here to make the label. Let me just cut it, add it like that. Then I'm gonna take this beautiful sticker that I got from eBay, it's lemon, and I'm just gonna add it over here and look at that, it is looking cuter already. Now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife, cut the excess of that sticker because it is a label, so we need it to look cute. So I remove the excess now like this, then I'm gonna cut this excess over here, I'm showing you, I'm not gonna cut my finger, <laughs> and I just cut it like that. Now we can see it and it is finished. I'm gonna take a decal that I made on my Cricut, but you can use stickers, rub on transfers, or maybe paint your letters. I have done that many, many times. Now I'm gonna add my transfer tape like that. And now I'm just gonna take my decal and I'm gonna add it to the label like this. And look at that, it is so cute. But we are gonna keep on adding to the cuteness of this. Now for the top, I'm gonna take this beautiful fabrics that I got from Timu as well. And I'm gonna take the chevron one. I think that's the name for that one, chevron. <laughs> and I'm just gonna scrunch it like that. And for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece like this. Then I'm gonna add a good amount of hot glue on top like that. And then I'm going to place my fabric and as you can see, I'm just pushing it with my fingers so it looks like a little bit scrunched, like a scrunchie for the hair. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this twine that we removed from the sign and I'm going to tie it over here to make it look like a jar with a little bit of fabric. Those jars, I just love them. They look so cute. So I wanted to recreate that. Now we're gonna play around a little bit with our fabric like that. And then we're gonna cut the excess because we want rounded edges like this. After that, we're gonna play around a little bit more with a ribbon or twine. And that's it, and look at that. So beautiful, but I wanna know what you think. So let me know in the comments below because yeah, I'm biased. This one is so cute and it is so realistic. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our YouTube family. But if you're a returning subscriber, you know how much I love you. In the description box down below, you're gonna find the links to all of my social media, so you can go and check me out over there. For our last DIY or DIY number four, we're gonna make toast with a little bit of that lemon marmalade that we made. So for that, I'm taking the edges of the sponge, tan and chestnut. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tan and I'm just gonna paint it like this all around the toast. Going all around it or the sponge because it is not a toast yet. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go all around it like that. I'm gonna paint it all the sides, top, bottom, sides, everything. Then I'm gonna take the chestnut and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply that on the borders as well as we did with the cake like this, a lot of that on the borders, just like that. And when we finish with the borders, I'm gonna go to the sides and I'm gonna add more of that chestnut on the side like this. Then the bottom part, we're gonna paint it completely with that chestnut. And when we finish, we're gonna give it a good dry brush with that chestnut that you will see. Let me just paint the back like this. And it is looking like bread. Now I'm gonna give it the good dry brushing on top like that and on the sides. And look at that, it looks like bread. <laughs> now we need to add some marmalade to our beautiful toast. I'm gonna take more of that silicone, more of that yellow food coloring, and I'm gonna add two drops as well. Let me just add them here. I'm gonna mix it really well. And then with my popsicle stick, I'm going to grab my toast with one hand and some of that mixture with the other one. And we're going to start spreading it, we're making circles. Yeah, making circles. <laughs> making circles on our toast like that. And here you can see them and they are so cute and so realistic. I think I could eat those. <laughs> Let me know what you think. 
If you want to buy me some crafting supplies, you will find this link in the description box down below. You don't have to do that. You can support your favorite creator by watching, sharing, and liking their videos. But if you want to buy me crafting supplies, this link, you will find it in the description box down below and you will get a shout out in my channel. Now it is time for our final reveal. And here you can see everything that we made today. Put on my tear tray. Yes, I need to add more, but I wanted to showcase the pieces that we made today. I just love them. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this set. Because yeah, I'm biased. It's too cute. And remember to go ahead to my description box and check out the playlist and check out Corey's channel. You are going to love everything everyone created for this awesome challenge and you're gonna love curry as well and let me know about this ones because yeah i think i can eat most of them <laughs> they are so cute and so realistic i'm in love with all of them <laughs> and that's it for today this is everything i have for you let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this and remember to share this video with a friend because that's a free way to help this girl out it lets youtube know that you like this type of content and it will recommend it to other beauties like yourself take care my beautiful friends Bye bye